I've always loved art and I've always loved creating things. The cards is was just a thing I always did. Every person's birthday, every family and friends, I would bring out my blank cards and, and blank envelopes and just make something special for them. You know, it's just to bring back the use of a card and to bring back, you know, sending something physical, handwritten, it's a lot more sentimental. It's like, yeah, it's like sending a piece of artwork. My name's Charlotte and I design arts and prints uh, and I'm also an architecture student. Cards these days are so easily to access, they're so cheap, they're, ch they're factory made, you know, they're just, there isn't much thought and depth into them because what you're doing is, you know, you're writing something to someone, you're giving them a gift, the card is part of the gift and it's meant to accompany your present in the way that you gift wrapped it, which is important. And um, I feel like, you know, they're received, looked at, thrown in the bin, done, and they cost you, what, a dollar or two. Um, I want mine to be something that you keep, that you look at, that you appreciate, that you say, hey, who's this made by, and where is it from, and this is really interesting, and I'm going to keep it and have a look at it, you know, like a piece of art. I draw inspiration from spaces around me. I like the idea of balance and texture and seeing things around me. So the way that architectural photographers take photos of spaces, it's very straight on and geometric and they care about the composition of materials and colours as well. So when I look at these magazines, I actually think the same way when I do designs because I like to incorporate hand drawings and, and paint and then textures and I might find images of wood or something and overlay it. My advice is that we're lucky enough to have all the resources available to us, so we should absolutely make use of them all. These days, you can create anything and put it out there and make it a genuine and legitimate product. So now with social media, Instagram, Facebook, you know, Snapchat, whatever, you've got so much inspiration to take from around you. You've got art galleries and the internet as well. So I think really, if you put a lot of thought into it and you keep true to your image and keep it constant and come up with new ideas all the time, you can make anything you want.